Let's make a simple fixed camera system in Unity. Welcome back everybody to the third of our Halloween specials. In the last video, we set up classic survival horror tank controls. Now let's set up a suspenseful fixed camera system. So grab your T-virus samples, let's crack on. First, the method. I've cut my hallway into three areas, A, B and C. Each area will have a collider and a camera assigned to it. Camera A, our starting camera will be active, the others will be inactive. When a player exits a collider, an area, it will trigger its camera as inactive. Upon entering a new collider, a new area, it will trigger that camera as active instead. Simple. For the purpose of time, I have already prepared my first two areas, A and B, but let's look at how to set up an area together for my area C. First, create an empty game object called area C, followed by an identifier so we know which area this is. Then, add a box collider to it, and then position the game object in the center of the area and then let's manually scale the collider to fit the width and height of that area as desired. It's important to make sure your area colliders don't overlap with each other, so make sure there is a very small gap between them close enough to trigger the next camera while exiting and deactivating the previous camera. Once you're happy with your collider's position, Set the collider as a trigger, very important. Then let's go ahead and create a new camera as a child and make sure to give it the appropriate name to match the area it's for. Now, there are two ways to position your camera. You can either manually move and rotate the camera into your desired position, just like so, or and this is a very cool trick. With your camera selected in the hierarchy, we can move our view around in the scene view, just like usual, move to a view you'd like your camera to have, then simply press shift control F to align your camera to the scene view. Easy. This saves a lot of time in the long run, so it's very handy to know. Of course, adjust your camera if necessary. And once happy, let's create a C-sharp script called camera change, attach it to our area object and open it up. Here, everything is nice and simple. We need just one variable, a public game object for the area's camera. Then we can get rid of the void start and update methods. Instead, we'll create a private void on trigger enter, collider other, then underneath the opposite, private void on trigger exit, collider other. Then in on trigger enter, like we discussed in the method, when we enter a collider, a trigger, we want that camera to be active. So we'll create an if statement, if, other.gameobject.tag is equal to the player, then the area cam.setActive is true. Then, of course, when we exit the collider, we don't want that camera to be active anymore, so we'll punch in the same if statement, but this time the area cam.setActive will be false. And there we go. Hit save. Let's head back into Unity. Now, all that's left for us to do is to set up the camera change script in the inspector. As you can see, for area C, it's asking for the area cam object. So I'll grab that camera and drag it in there like so. This is not the default camera I want to start with, so I will set this camera as inactive. You'll see I have no cameras currently rendering, so I'm gonna to go to my area A and activate that camera as my starting camera. And of course, make sure I've set up all my other areas just like so with the appropriate cameras making sure that only my starting camera is active or the rest are inactive. Also, 
do not forget to give your player the tag of player in order for our triggers to work. When you're ready, go ahead, hit play. And now what you should see when you get to the end of area A, camera switches to area B, exit B, and camera switches to area C. Happy days, there we go. We've created a pretty simple fixed camera changing system that you can have fun and experiment with in your projects. I hope this tutorial was useful to you and I do appreciate you stopping by and checking out the channel. I hope you continue to have fun learning game dev and I will see you all soon. Take care.